first I'm going to start off though by coming over here to append and just grabbing a cylinder, coming over to the cylinder, shooting it to the top, holding shift and bent up arrow here, and then just bringing it down right under the my little star here. And since we don't really we could work with this, but uh, I think I'd rather come down here to initialize and go uh, Q cylinder Y. So we have a really low res uh, cylinder here. Just to start off with, nice and clean. And I'm going to go one step further, just thinking ahead a bit. I'm going to duplicate this off and then hide one of them. So, round shield. How do you do that? Well, first you're going to want to grab some reference. So I have some pulled up here on Pinterest and it's pretty pretty descriptive. We've got, it's round, it's round wood and a shield. They're flat so we don't really need to worry about any, any deformers or anything. So we have our cylinder here, a polyframe up. What I'm going to do is start out with using Z modeler BZM on the keyboard and I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and flatten this out a bit make it kinda more you know shield width whatever that means to you uh, and then and I think I'm actually gonna scale it up a bit and you know what? We're gonna go ahead flatten a bit, flatten it a bit more. And then we're gonna come over to a face here. Actually. So yeah, we have it basically the width that we want. I'm gonna come over to insert edge loop and just get rid of this one. I'm gonna hover over face, tap space bar, come over here to extrude. Then under, under target, I'm going to go polygroup all. We're just going to extrude out all these faces here, that whole polygroup. We're going to go extrude polygroup all again, tap alt and then tap control so we so it's not connected to the to the mesh and then get a little closer and I'm just going to uh, hide everything else. Use my quick menu here to split hidden or you come down to split and then split hidden and that will be actually highlighted uh, so this is our you know our metal wrap or our leather wrap piece here if you're feeling uh, really organized you can name start naming things early future you will thank you so I'm gonna do I don't know outer ring sure Name it whatever makes sense to you. This is your project, this is your world. And then with extrude polygroup all still on, we're gonna go ahead and push this in and push it into about, you know, about there, you know, shield width or uh, inner wrap width, whatever you wanna call it. Come all the way down to display properties and then hit flip and you'll see that the normals have flipped now and we have a totally separate uh, totally separate uh, metal or leather wrap for the rim of our shield here. So great. And with that, don't need to hit extrude again, we just hit W and then go ahead and just make it a little bit wider. Just so it gets a little it lifts off the uh, the main main wooden shield or wooden part. We've got our wooden inner bit, we have our outer ring, we have uh, what I'm gonna call a bolt. We need a, or what I'm gonna turn into a bolt later. Um, now we need this uh, middle bit. <laughs> Not totally sure what to call it. I should probably look this up, but if you look at the uh, construction of a lot of these types of shields, you'll notice they have this kind of domed bit in the uh, 
in the middle and the the wood part actually has a circle kind of drilled out of it all right so we have our outer bit we have our inner piece and real quick we're going to add a placeholder for the uh, the handle of the shield so I'm going to come over to my what I've labeled the bolt I'm going to duplicate it off and you know what we'll rename this handle and then come all the way down to initialize again we're going to hit uh, Q cube and this is really just placeholder for right now but we know that we want it to be kind of skinny and to kind of span the, the radius of the shield there. And we don't want it to be that thick or span the diameter of the shield there. My geometry terms are off, forgive me. So with symmetry on, hit X and then we're going to highlight uh, the polygons we want to extrude. Once again, we're going to pull up, tap control to separate it, control shift tap to solo, then come down to split and split hidden. Now we have our center bit. This is great. Let's scale this up a bit and and yeah, we'll we'll give this some thickness here. So next we need to cut a hole in the middle of this. So in order to do that, super easy. We're going to come over here, hover over a face, go to cube mesh, polygroup all, highlight polygroups on the front and the back, and then just push in. It should delete all the way through there. As long as those two polygroups are the same size, um, you shouldn't have any problems with that. And then since we have an inner edge loop here, I kind of want to just get rid of that for now. So on solo, we have our hole. We have our outer metal bit. We have our, our front metal bit, our outer metal bit. We have our handle. Great. I'm going to come over here, uh, duplicate the metal center. So we now have metal center one that we're working on. We're just going to go down to initialize and hit Q sphere. I'm going to hit W, turn off symmetry, alt tap this uh, little marker icon to uh, go to unmasked mesh center. Uh, then come here to the uh, scale XYZ and just scale this up so it's you know roughly the same size as the piece that we cut out. Then I'm going to line that up with the, you know, that center line. I'm going to line that up with the top of the, uh, the hole that we cut out. Control shift drag, then hold down alt to hide uh, that bottom part of the sphere that we just added in. I'm going to use my custom menu, control one to go delete hidden, or you can go geometry, modify topology, and then delete hidden is right here under mirror and weld. Hover over an edge here, come down to insert, single edge loop, and then I'm gonna sh just gonna get an edge uh, real close to this uh, bottom edge here, hold down shift to make it straight, control, drag, to drag out a uh, rectangular mask, line it up with just the edge that you wanna, wanna mask, and then tap alt to invert it and you will mask off the the dome area and you'll only be affecting this uh, this lower edge loop here so tap W and we're just gonna scale this out like so and then I kinda wanna bring it up just a bit so it's a little flat great get rid of that go back to Z modeler and then control drag off your model to uh, clear your mask so that's gonna work um, now 
and all we gotta do is hover over face, go to extrude and polygroup all. Then I'm just gonna hover over any old face and drag up just slightly so we get a bit of thickness on this guy. And what I'm looking for is like this kind of you know dome shape showing through the the hole in the shield there. So that's exactly what we want. Then over here, hit W, move it so it just kind of intersects with the uh, the wood bit, and bam, that worked out. Okay. So cool. With that, we kind of have all of our pieces in place. I'm saving the bolt. Don't worry, I haven't forgot. Uh, let's shape this uh, this handle just a bit. So go insert edge loop. There's nothing too fancy going on here. It's really like, you know, a piece of wood <laughs> kind of uh, bolted over uh, other pieces of wood. They're not really shaped to the to the hand. So to add uh, a little bit of dimension to this this handle, I kind of want to just bring it off of the the you know the wood center just a bit. So drag. Drag out a rectangle, mask off the uh, or mask off the ends there. Hit W and then just kind of move. And we need some more geometry there. So insert another edge loop, uh, like right there, and you know right there. So uh, again, mask off the middle. Invert the mask. W and just lift this up just a bit. So yeah, that's kind of all of our pieces in. We have all of our, our primary forms blocked out. Very low res, not really worried about geometry, only using Z Modeler. I think all we used were uh, extrude, polygrouping, Q mesh, insert edge loops, and uh, masking and the uh, transform tools. Next we're going to get into adding the secondary details, so stay tuned. <laughs>